Hi guys and welcome to a new tutorial. On a previous video I showed you how to make a combo chart. However, after reading all of your comments I noticed that it was necessary to make a complimentary video for those of you who don't have the latest Office version. So we're gonna be making the same combo chart in an older Office version. So it is very important for you to comment if you have any doubts, comments, because I take those into consideration. And I want to thank you all for your likes, comments, and subscriptions. You're really motivating me to upload more tutorials for you. You can also download the sample file in the description. So let's get started. Hi guys, first of all, let me apologize for the quality of the video. I know it doesn't look as good as the previous videos, but I had to use a previous Microsoft Office version, which I don't have available on my laptop. And I had to look for my old laptop that I used in college, which is pretty old. And this old computer won't allow me to install any new software. So I was not able to install the software I used to edit the videos. So that's why I had to use my cell phone to record the screen of my old laptop. I know it doesn't look quite good, but hopefully you'll be able to understand. And I'll be trying to make everything more clear by using text and other visual aids in the video. So let's get started. So we're going to use the same data set that we had on our previous video. So I have the date, the sales and the profit margin in these three columns. And I'm going to start by selecting cell B2 down to cell D14. Okay, and I'm going to go up to the insert menu. And when I click that menu, I'm going to look for the charts section and I'm going to look for the column options. So after I click it, I'm going to look on the 2D column. I'm going to select the stack column. All right, and there we go. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger for you to see it. All right. Now, as you can see, both the sales and the profit margin are displayed as bars. However, you might not be able to see the profit margin because it's just a tiny fraction of the bars. Because since the profit margin is displayed as percentage, it is displayed on the bars as a decimal number. So it's a pretty small number. So if I click at the end of a bar, you can see that I have selected the profit margin. So I selected those tiny fractions of each bar, which are the orange ones. So how do I know that I have selected the profit margin? Because column D is showing me this blue rectangle. So I have selected the profit margin, which is displayed at the end of the bars. So now what I want to do is to right click and I'm going to look for the format data series. And as you might recall on the previous video and in newer versions of Office, we get this on the right pane. However, for this older version, we get this pop-up window. So in here, I'm going to look for the plot series on. And since I selected the profit margin, I want it to be on the secondary axis. So I'm going to click on here on secondary axis and I'm going to close the pop-up window. All right. So now, as you can see, I have the profit margin and the sales on the same chart. However, the profit margin is still displayed as bars. But the good thing is that it is now more visible than before. So we have one last step before we change the profit margin to a line. So I'm going to right click still with the profit margin selected and I'm going to look for the change series chart type. So I had to use this old computer because newer versions of Office don't have this option available. So I'm going to click in here and there we go. So we're going to get this pop-up window. And since we want the profit margin to be displayed as a line, I'm going to look in here for the line and I'm going to click it and I'm going to click OK. So now after I've done this, you can see that I have my combo chart ready now. So it is still possible to have a combo chart in older versions of Office. You just have to work a little bit more to get there. But as you can see, it's pretty much the same chart that we saw on our first video. So just to make it a little bit more similar to the previous video, I'm going to change the legend. I'm going to right click on format legend. And on the pop-up window, 
I'm going to look on the legend options and I'm going to change the label position so that it is at the bottom of the chart. Okay, I'm going to close it. There we go. Now I'm going to add the data labels to the chart. So I'm going to select first the line and I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on add data labels. There we go. And I want to do the same thing with the bar. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to right click on add data labels. And there we go. And now as a final step, just so that this video is exactly the same as the previous one, I'm going to select the data labels of the bars and I'm going to change them to bold. I'm going to change the font color to red and I'm going to right click on format data labels and I'm going to change the label position to inside base and I'm going to close it. So I'm just going to do one more step. So I'm going to select in here these lines and I'm going to press the delete button so that it is more clear. So now, as you can see, I made the same chart that we did on our previous video on an older version of Obvious. So I hope this video was useful for those of you who don't have the newest version of Office. Now you can check out my other video to see how to format this chart so that it looks more professional and beautiful. All right, guys, I hope that video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to leave a comment, to like and to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be motivating me to upload more tutorials for you. Also, don't forget that you can download the sample file in the description below. So, thanks again and see you next time!